There we go. Oh, better one. Better one. Got my morning pizza on my lap here. Anybody else eat pizza in the morning? Better fish. Slightly better. Let's get my pizza out of the way. I don't want this guy to splash it. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Yeah, this is a, definitely a better fish. Wow. It's a good looking bay bass. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking one right there. Torch the plastic. These little hooks, man, they're, they penetrate really well. Let's get a little measurement on him. 12 and a half. So this is a 12 and a half inch bay bass. <laughs> Nicer one, that's for sure. Definitely a nicer one. I didn't think I was gonna get bit out here. I'm kind of in no man's land, but got a bite. Fish in that neck breaker, three eighth ounce with a three and a half inch Kitek. I could just smell the bait fish in the water. If you guys know what I mean, it just smelled, smelled like bait fish, smelled fishy. <laughs> And I'm on the spinning rod today. It's a seven foot medium, extra fast taper. It's a really strong graphite rod with a really sensitive tip to it. Makes it easy to cast those lighter quarter ounce and three eighth ounce baits. I figured since it's gonna be a low tide fairly soon, I'd fish a rod that can whip that quarter ounce out there easily. There we go, got one. Just pulling it through the grass. Felt him climb right on it. <laughs> yeah. Big time grass guy. He was all all inside it. Ah, picking at him here, picking at him. Finding a couple bites here and there. Glad to get some bites though. Trying to trying to keep it. Consistent here, trying to keep that bite consistent. Found some 12 foot water. There's a lot of bait mid column, and there's birds working here and there. So this might be this might be something. Let's keep with it. Let's see if we can't grab a couple more of those bait bass. There we go. Picked it up when I started reeling on it. Feels like a small one, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, play them out a little bit. Especially since we got the spinning rod, it's a lot more fun to play them out on the spinning rod. Bay bass are really fun on that spinning rod. <laughs> so there you go. That little guy, maybe that's a, I don't know, 11 incher. Still looking good. Another little one. Yeah, we're rolling. Picking on them right now. If you guys have any recommendations, I am looking for a new fish finder for this kayak. This is a Lorance Hook 4, old style. It does have chirp and down imaging, but the standard fish finder part, it doesn't work anymore. Here we go. Only the down imaging works. That was a nice take. 11 foot of water, lots of eel grass, bait fish around. Another small boy club. Still on the same bait, the bait is surviving. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay. Fighting back pretty good here. Turn that radio down. Dude, another nice one, another nice one. Buddy, another solid bay bass. All right, let's get this guy in the stick here. Let's see what he looks like. We're at 13 and a quarter. <laughs> We're getting closer, getting closer to the legal 14 inch mark. <laughs> another solid one. 
Yeah, here's where that spotty spit up. Maybe that's what all these bait fish, birds, and spotties are on, this type of small no see -ems. Yes! Epic. That was the next cast out. That was on the fall. Got bit, buddy. Yeah. Bay bass, one of the most fun fish to catch here in Southern California. Super hard fighters for their size. Really aggressive. Eat a variety of baits. They bite the swim bait, and I like to fish the swim bait. Positive, positive all the way around. Let's get it back out there. We're definitely picking at them. We got quite a few fish right now, just on this stretch. There we go. Ah. And that bite is just a tick. It's like a straight grab, so. A very sensitive rod. Got braided line, fluorocarbon top shot, so I'm able to feel those bites. <laughs> Another little small one. Simple, simple re-rig. Again, just slowly working it through the eelgrass, real close to the bottom. I'm in a mixture of like 11 to 13 feet. Those bass seem to be, there we go. There we go. Dude, what is happening right now? I can't believe I'm getting this many bites. I don't care how big they are. I just want to catch fish. Flared out. Every, every spiky thing is poking on this guy. He's ready to get you. <laughs> Let's see if it picks up, if it slows down. We're still in a tide movement, so we, uh, it's kind of a similar situation to how, how it has been. Tide is going down. It's gone down pretty, there we go. Oh my God, this is a good one. Oh my God, this is a good one. Okay, guys. <laughs> I think it's a halibut or something. Oh, 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 oh God. I gotta loose up the drag here. It's a good one. I mean, it is, it's, it's going away from me. It's not fighting very much, so I think it's a halibut, but it's definitely big. Unless it's a big ray. <laughs> it could be a big bat ray too. I think it's a bat ray. We got the drag loosened up on him. I don't think it's a bay bass. Okay. Fighting a little bit like a bat ray. <laughs> Unless it's a big halibut, dude. If it's a 20 pounder, we're we're be eating good tonight. Feeling kind of bat rayish though. So I loosened up the drag, but I got my hand slightly on the spool to be able to to force the issue a little bit more. Let's put some muscle into it and see what we can do about it. I see my leader knot right there. It's something big. Oh, oh. Not want to come up. Big bat ray. Yeah. He flapped at it, got him in the wing. Try to get the jig back, because I think this is my only 3 8 ounce. And, you know, get this guy home. There we go. Let's see if we can't, look at this thing. Big old guy. Hold on, buddy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Just want to get my hand on the jig here. There we go. Uh, got it. Hey, that was a fun fight. <laughs> that was a fun fight on the spinning rod and reel. Definitely put all the gear to the test right there. Put the line to the test. Put the hook to the test. Put the rod to the test. Put the knot to the test. I was hoping for a hell of it. Big bat ray instead. <laughs> When there's a lot of bait fish in the water, all types of different fish get in that area because they all want to eat as well. And he did get hooked in the wing, but a lot of times stingrays and some halibut sometimes, they slap the bait fish down. 
or they jump on top of them, smother them, they fill them out, then they eat them with their mouth. Most of the times when you catch a stingray, that's probably what happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and retie because the line feels a little chewed up right there. Okay, let's get this tied up and start fishing. Man. Another one. Still cracking on them. Kind of got the, the vibe going right now. It bit a lot better than I expected. Got a lot of fish. Got those two nice ones, 12 and a half and 13 and a quarter, and got that big bat ray. Everything else was a little on the small side, but excellent fighting on the spinning gear and really good to get the lures bit. So the big standout today was the neck breaker, 3 8 ounce with a 2-0 hook and that 3.5 Kitek swim bait. The thing was getting tore up, lots of bites on that bait, working it slow on the bottom through that eel grass. Thanks again for all the support you're giving war baits in this channel. We're growing and it's because of you. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to those. And as always, get out there, go fish and hook that giant.